My brother. My brother. I was working from home that day and I received a call from my father telling me that uh, my brother had passed away. And I remember thinking like, this has to be a mistake. Like how, how could this have happened to my brother? Grief has a way of just completely changing your life. It takes it and just flips it over. And the way that we relate to others is by having things in common with them. And as soon as something horrible happens to you, it all of a sudden becomes impossible to relate to anyone around you because they haven't experienced this. After he had passed, a lot of people showed up and offered their support and their love. and offer to do anything and everything for you. That lasts a very short period of time, and then people go back to their normal lives. And society pushes you to get back to your normal life. And it doesn't work that way. When my brother died, a part of me died. I was out of work for a little while because I wasn't ready to face people. I wasn't ready to be asked the questions. I think a part of me felt afraid that I was going to be judged because of the way that my brother passed. There's definitely a stigma associated with suicide. And one of the things that we learned as part of this recovery is just to call it what it is. Oscar died by suicide, and that's a important thing to just recognize. It's the brutal reality, but you have to lay it bare if you really want to have a productive conversation around the topic. Now that time has passed, I better understand the state of mind that he may have been in. And it wasn't that he wanted to do this. It was this battle that he had with his brain, where it, it was telling him that this was the only choice. We have good days and bad days. It's certainly something you just have to continue chipping away at. And you'll have setbacks, but that's OK. Driving into work. For me, I find that that's the time that I reflect the most, and it's listening to songs that my brother and I uh, enjoyed growing up together. And, and it's hearing, hearing these songs that just it makes me break down. And it's getting better, because there are certain songs that I can listen to now and not cry. My grief has changed from the beginning to where it is today. I wouldn't say that the anger is gone completely. You know, I still get upset with Oscar sometimes when I think about it. At the same time, a certain level of acceptance has given me peace. I think that, you know, we can't change it, so we just have to accept it and um, kind of try to go forward. What other choice do you have? You know, you got to keep living your life, doing the best for the people who are depending on you, for the people who are around you. Everybody, without exception, loses somebody at some point in their life who's special to them. Certain things that you say, certain things you do, they, they can mean a lot to people. One of the things that I stopped doing was when I was crying and talking to someone, I would say, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for getting upset. And now I've realized I don't need to be sorry. It's OK for me to cry. It's OK to have these tears come out because they're tears of love. Because whenever I talk about Oscar, I remember the person he was and the love that I had for him. He was somebody in this world. He mattered. 
and I can't forget that. <laughs>